Hello everyone, today we are going to talk to you about plateauing, so your results plateauing. This happens to everyone, it even happens to us. Firstly, before we dive deeper into this, what we want to say is this is not an indicator for you to stop doing what you're doing, okay? That is the last thing you want to do. The second thing you do not want to do is obsess. We see this over and over and over again. People get really frustrated. We understand it's frustrating when you store and you plateau, but jumping on the scales every single day, kind of obsessing over what you're eating and, and doing the exercise even more, it's actually going to do you more harm than good. So please don't do either of those two things. Definitely not. Um, the first thing to say is, well, it's really normal to get progress, stall for a short time, one to two weeks, and then get progress again. It's just the body adjusting as we change the inputs, the exercise, and the nutrition. So if you're on a program and you've just stalled it, uh, just give it time, keep going, and come through the other side. Part of that as well is getting to know your own body and how long it takes between changing the input side and the results you get. For example, Claire and I know that we have about a 10 to 14 day window to us. We can <laughs> go right, right, we're gonna eat super clean, we're gonna train really hard, we'll see the results 10 to 14 days down the line. It gets a bit frustrating. It does. <laughs> Likewise, you know, if we have a big blowout, we're like, oh, we've got away with that, and yeah. then suddenly you look in the mirror and you realize you really didn't. <laughs> Thankfully, yeah, we have experience of training thousands and thousands of clients. Some people are super fast responders, you know, their body shape can change in a week, quite rare, but they're out there. Uh, other people, you know, can take up four or five weeks to change. It's just a question of getting to know your body. What I'd say is if you're on a new program and or eating plan, you need to give it time to bed in. So keep going with it for at least six weeks before you start to think it's maybe not working. If you're seeing your progress stall, for longer than three to four weeks, it's probably time to look particularly at your food and see whether your calories might be too high if you're looking to drop fat. Last point on this is, yes, stick with your program. If you're going with the same program for a long time, eight weeks plus, it's probably time to mix it up a bit. The body is super clever at adapting. So if you've been doing like a high weight, low rep program, mix it up with some lightweight, high rep, just keep changing and changing your body. That's what we results. do. And that's what we do. And also actually getting some expert advice, not necessarily us, but an expert that can, you might be missing something. Sometimes we're so close to things, we don't know what we're missing. So that really, really helps to have those eyes on it. Lastly, the final point is please celebrate your victories. Okay, the little wins as you go. So often in life, we look at what we haven't achieved and haven't done and we forget what we have achieved and have done. So that will really help you see these through these plateau parts that are gonna come. It's just natural, it happens to everyone. Anyway, I hope that has helped and we are sending you so much love.